Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about the top 5 must have mods. Everyone mods Skyrim a little differently. For some it's all about graphics, others missions and some like to load their games with as many new items as possible. But these are the mods for everyone. The staples of most load orders. And with that in mind, let's begin. First and probably most obviously is the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch by Arthmore. Coming in at 422 megabytes, it's nearly 10% of your space gone, but so much has been fixed. Quest bugs, character bugs, basically everything wrong with the base game has been sorted out, and if you only have one mod in your load order, I imagine this would be it. Another reason to just grab this is that so many mods list it as a dependency, and for me that's reason enough alone. The unofficial patch is list of changes is so large that I will need to leave a link to all the change logs in the description. I think you may be surprised at just how much has been edited over the course of four years. Yeah, that's right, four years. And what's more, this project is still ongoing with updates as recently as April this year. And I don't see the team stopping anytime soon. The second must have mod is the cutting room floor, also by Arthmore. And yes, it's dependent on the unofficial patch. This mod is amazing. Whilst the patch sets about fixing things, the cutting room floor adds more in. And it all works with Bethesda's original vision as everything added is content dropped during creation. In this mod we get NPCs, quests, locations, scenes and items all added back in and really, really well implemented. It adds diversity, gameplay hours and it fills out the blank spaces of the world map all for just 11 megabytes, and for those reasons, it really is a must-have mod. In third, we have the Cheat Room by Braden M1, a 1.3 megabyte miracle. The Cheat Room offers so much. Beyond the ability to grab any item from the game, level up, get money, and do general treats, or time savers for people on their 50th playthrough, it actually has some amazing features that aren't so much cheating as just useful or really creative. I recently did a video on how you can make your own follower in the cheat room. Beyond that, you can change your appearance, have access to all the crafting tables, change height, resurrect dead actors. My word, honestly, this thing, it just goes on. I mean, you can fix any broken quest or at least move them along using this mod. And for those reasons, it should be a staple in your load order. My fourth must have is Ordinator, Perks of Skyrim by Anasian. I love this mod, and whilst there are other perk mods out there, I feel like this one adds the most to your experience. It overhauls every in-game perk and adds in a whole bunch more. There are now 400 perks, all different to vanilla. The sheer number of perks allows for so many more playthroughs where you'd still be surprised by what you can get it to do. I truly advise role-playing with this mod, as it's clearly set up for this. My favourite thing this mod does is rework the underwhelming perk trees such as speech where you can now play instruments for different effects like gaining money or having your companions do increased damage. It also brings shouts up to a standard where being the dragonborn actually feels special and usable in game. My fifth and final must have mod is rebalanced encounter zones and leveled actors by Evid Alex. I hope that's how that's pronounced. I talked about this in my combat difficulty mods video, but I should add that this is one of the absolute staples of my load order. It's one of the fastest ways to add difficulty to this game by changing the minimum and maximum levels of encounter zones, which adds in more risk in a hugely rewarding way. It also pairs really well with other combat mods like Better Combat AI, Know Your Enemy or Fatality, but even without those it still adds enough spice to the game to make it different. Usually you have to deal with the fact that past level 30 you are extremely overpowered, but with this mod you don't have to worry about that anymore. Others are learning alongside you, and some areas are difficult right from the get go, which is something I found lacking from the base game, and it actually really adds to the level of realism, so I highly recommend this mod. All of the mods that I've suggested here are enough to make your game replayable on their own, but they also leave you with a ton of space to build around, so whatever is important to you, you can add on. This is what I call my foundation, consistently finding their way into my load order. I would love for you guys to comment with your foundations. If this has helped at all, as always I appreciate those likes, subscriptions and suggestions on future content. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.